Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I'm Arnell, and today's video, I'm gonna be doing a wig install. I miss just sitting down and installing wigs, so that's what I'm doing today. And I'm excited because I believe this is my first time trying a wig from Hair Vivi, which I've always seen good reviews on. Like anytime I've seen someone like post themselves in a really nice wig and everyone's like, where's the wig from? They always say this company, so. Let me grab the box. It comes in this soft pink box. It's like a, a velvety texture. And okay, I've already like took a sneak peek because I need to know if I need to bleach the knots or not. And you don't, which is crazy. Like a lot of companies will say like pre-bleached and like uh, pre-plucked, but you'll still have to bleach the knots. You guys, you don't have to bleach the knots. So I'm gonna show you. Here's what it looks like. Branding, okay. Comes in this silk bag. I love when the wig comes with a bag. You also get a comb and a edge control brush, as well as, what else is in here? They sent me some tweezers. I don't, I don't know if this comes to every box, but what the hell? Okay. And two clips. So we'll use those if we need to. It also comes with a little letter with all the information. So pre-plugged hairline, pre-bleached knots, clean bleached frontal. I don't know what that means, but pre-sewn elastic band, pre-sewn piano keys, elastic band. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna see. Real HD lace to blend to the skin. So yeah, it gives you it gives you all the specs of your wig. It tells you everything about this guy. So I put it back in the bag so you, so you can see how it comes. It comes in a plastic bag, like most wigs do. I'm sorry if that's loud. And then the wig itself is wrapped with this like little net. They always do that. I just always take it off. Ooh, you're long. And then it comes like this stuffing to keep the shape of the wig. So let's get into this lace, you guys, because it's beautiful. Okay, let me show you. Hold on. Ugh! I cannot wait to install this. I have to like perfect it. You guys see that? Can you? You can't even see where the lace is at on my hand. I mean, probably over there, but not really. Beautiful. And it's like the knots are actually bleached. Ooh. And she feels nice. How long are you? I gotta check the email. I'll put it on the screen. But I just feel like this is gonna give, let's look at the inside, okay? So like they said, there is a pre-sewn elastic band. I don't really use elastic bands like that anymore though. I used to, but I feel like, well, at least for me, I always end up cutting it because it hurts my head, so I just don't use them. I feel like when you, uh, I feel like when you glue your wig down, you don't really need them. Comes with two combs on the side, which I take the combs on the sides off. If you're not gluing it down, then the combs on the side are fine, but glue, the glue I use at least is so secure. I don't need these combs, I don't. And so, um, and then it also comes, ooh, wait, this is different. Okay, all wigs come with a clip in the back. They should, but I like how long this clip is. Most clips are like half this size, so that's new for me. I like that, okay. Uh, I just feel like this is gonna eat. I'm shocked this is like my first time getting a wig from them. All right, let's try her on first. I'm gonna move the elastic band, because like I said, I don't, I'm not an elastic band person. Let's try her on. Oh, ignore my hair. Ooh, I can just tell this is gonna, ooh. Okay, let's just get started, because I can just tell this is gonna look good. I'm excited now. Okay, first, my hair. My ends are currently so dry, I really need a trim. It's pretty bad. I really need to take better care of my hair. My like excuse for like the last almost year was the fact that my braider is on, well she was on maternity leave, but she's back now so I kind of have no excuse. I'm gonna get her to braid my hair down for underneath my wigs. I always say that, but I'm like dead serious. Now I don't have to do this because I'm doing a ball cap, but I just feel like it just makes a difference, so I'm doing it anyways. I'm just doing a middle part since the wig is the middle part. Although, are you kind of giving side part? No, you're giving middle part. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna use a rubber band. 
a rubber band. Put this back in a ponytail. I'm gonna brush my edges back using my Kiss Edge Control. This is like my all time favorite edge control. It's the only one I use. I promise you, I've purchased a good like 20 of these. They're my fave. You don't have to get this color, by the way. Like I have like the blue one, the red one, the green one. I have every single one. They all work the same. It's just different scents. And I'm gonna take this brush. This is like a pedicure brush, but I've never used it on my feet, okay? I have only used it on my edges and my hair, and I like it because it's like gentle enough, but like rough enough to do this. To repeat, it's never been used on my feet, so it's literally a hairbrush at this point. And I'm just brushing my edges back so they're not in the way. And I'm gonna like, you see this little hair that's sticking out? I'm gonna brush that up too. That's something that annoys me when like the back of my hair sticks out underneath my wigs. Oh. For my stocking cap, I'm using what I always use. It's um, this brand called Kiki Hair Care, and this is called Skin. It's essentially like pantyhose stocking caps. I know like when I first started using these, people are like, oh, you could just get pantyhose. I'm, I'm not gonna keep getting a pair of pantyhose to make a stocking cap when I could just buy stocking caps that are just like pantyhose that are already in the form of a stocking cap. And each um, pack comes with two. And to be honest, I feel like, okay, these, I, I wanna say they're coming from the UK. I, I think the shit, I don't remember the shipping being that high actually. I know some people said that these were kind of expensive. I wanna say the packs are either $3.99 or $4.99, but like regular stocking caps, I wanna say, at least the ones I was getting before, it was like $1.99 for two. So yeah, it's a few dollars more, but I feel like these are so much better. And I like my installs much more because sometimes with other stocking caps, because they're slightly thicker, it's harder to hide them. Like I could sometimes, if the lace was really thin like this or transparent, I could see the stocking cap from underneath the lace, which you should not be able to do. With this one, I don't experience that at all. So I'm willing to pay extra for a better wig install. To me, it's like you might as well go all out. If you already spent hella money on the wig or the bundles, you know, you want the best install. That's just how I see it. So I'm putting her on and I'm cutting my little ear holes. You guys know the drill and maybe if you do, you don't, but that's what I do. And oh, it's like, I don't like cutting this part cause I like it to lay flat and as tight as possible, but I don't like that line it creates. So I'm trying to avoid that, especially because I have makeup on. So that would be annoying. Okay. so. Even though I brush my edges back, no matter what, my hairs end up freaking moving anyways. I guess like in hindsight, I could be spraying it. I'm just too lazy to do that. So I just take my comb and from underneath, I like push my hairs back. Cause the purpose of this is to protect my edges. So them wanting to come out defeats that purpose. So now I'm gonna take my ORS spray. And to be honest, I hate that I like this spray cause I hate the brand. But I gotta be honest, like I like the spray. It's just the, the brand, I, I don't like the actual brand. But I do like this more than the got to be free spray. And I did buy Hella bottles, so until I finish them, I'm gonna use it. That should be good enough. Now I'm gonna take my blow dryer and dry that for a good like five minutes to make sure it's fully dry. Cause there's been times where I've rushed this process and like it wasn't fully dry. And I'd rather just sit here, even though I'm impatient and I want to go fast, it's like when you rush the process and it's not fully dry and you start cutting it, it's like if you go back and spray it, unless you're holding it down with your finger, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be the same. You're gonna have to use a whole nother stocking cap. So just be patient when it comes to drying this. Okay, I think we're in the clear. I think it's dry enough. It should be. Ugh, it's like you never really know, but I kinda know and I think it's dry enough. So now to further emphasize my new found baldness, I'm going to use this Fenty powder to cover my hair and whatnot. Okay, that should be enough. I'm ready to cut this off. It didn't leave a terrible line, so I'm not mad. I need to like clean my scissors or something because they haven't been working the same lately. So I'm just pulling it back a little bit and just cutting, cutting, cutting. Oh, my scissors are acting so dumb. 
feel, I feel like I get a new pair of scissors like every freaking few months. Let me use my other scissors. Those ones are getting on my nerves. Oh my God. The same thing happens to all my scissors. <laughs> what the hell? Don't ask why I have so many scissors. Oh wait, yeah, this, these work better. Which ones are you? Hmm. I'm gonna use a tweezers they sent in the package to help me with this. Cause this one's a little too far down. Okay, cool. I'm putting the wig on just to measure to see if I need to cut off any more of the stocking cap. That's gonna lay right there. Oh, see this lace is so thin, even you could, I mean, not on the camera, but I could see a little bit of the stocking cap through it. So if it was like the older ones I would use, you could for sure see that too. It really just depends on how thin the lace is. Ooh, this may be tricky. Okay, let's see. It's a little small. I'll have to bring that down first and then bring this down. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna take some alcohol. I'm dreading this because I don't wanna wipe off my makeup, but I gotta do what I gotta do. And I'm just gonna, I'm like holding on to the stocking cap because I don't want that to get wet because then it'll start to peel back. I'm really just wiping around. I'm gonna use my hold me down glue. You guys already knew that though. And I'm gonna make, I guess my glue line, if you will, kind of thick. Cause if you saw my measurements, I'm gonna have to bring the wig kind of like down on my forehead for it to fit cause it's kind of small. But I also want it to like cover the stocking cap line so that you can't see it through the lace, if that makes sense. Take some of that, bring that over here. Ooh, not even that, putting enough glue on this side. Try to make it as even as possible. And I'm working quickly because this dries fast and when it starts to dry, it definitely becomes harder to spread. I mean, kind of impossible. And to see the stung cap wants to roll up, so now I gotta press that down. Please don't roll up again. Okay. And now we wait, and then I'm gonna do a second layer, and then we'll install the wig. So this lace is very thin, which is great, but you could see where I kind of messed up on the glue, but it's okay. We're going to fix that. I'm first going to take my hot comb and just go over this. I mean, it's already pretty flat, but I do want it to be a little flatter. Okay, I think that looks centered enough. I mean, it's not, but like, whatever. Okay, how do I wanna play this? You know what I'm gonna do? Ooh, the quality is so nice. I'm hot in here though, so it's like sticking to my freaking chest. What I'm gonna do, I need to strain this part because that's something that will bother me. My wax stick like grew legs and I can't find it. And I'm annoyed because I prefer to use that, but I'm gonna use a little spray instead. Okay. 
Okay. So one, I don't know if I would call this a con or flaw, if you will, that I see is that the frontal has like some short hairs in it, which is not fun because then it's like you have to lay them down. But it doesn't bother me too much because I mean I work with wigs a lot. And I like that's kind of a common thing. You know, it's not like unheard of, but I do want to point it out. I mean, I don't really have to. You can see it, but. What am I missing here? Okay, that looks better. I really need a wax stick. Oh, let me look harder. Like, where is it? Why are you doing this to me? Where would you be? I feel like it would have been in my drawer of stuff. I'm usually pretty organized, but I guess not today. Where is it? What the hell? I don't have a freaking backup. Oh wait, it's right here in front of my face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tame all these flyaways. Okay, cool. I need to fix this part. Hold on. Okay. So, oof, it's like it's tricky. You know, I can cut the lace now. I can. I can. Yeah, I can cut it now. I'm gonna just like take my scissors and like do, 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 do. Ooh, I don't wanna pull it back though because then the glue is gonna get pulled back and yeah, no, that's not gonna look cute. So I'm just cutting out the lace, boom, boom, boom. Wow. Oh, I could see where there's excess glue, which is like something I hate, but I'll show you guys how to clean that up. It's not hard. It's annoying, but <laughs> this, it lays so flat, what the fuck? Okay, let's do, 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 do. Oh my God. I myself am having trouble seeing the lace. This may, I mean, I, okay. So my top hair companies, it really depends on the hair texture, but like lace wise, pre-customization, I really like XRS. XRS, out of all the companies I work with, I feel like they do a really good job with pre-plucking the wig. But like, I kinda like this one more. Like, they're both still up there, but basically what I'm saying is that Hair VV might have just took the number one spot in the nicest way possible, because I still like XRS. But like, this might have just took the number one spot. Ignore that glue. Because, yeah, I mean, no, XRS, they go crazy too, but like, I don't know. It's something that's hitting different about this. I don't know. I like that their knots are more bleached. For sure, their knots are definitely more bleached. We gotta add a little more glue right here. Okay. But like, this is kind of giving, I don't know. Let's add a little more glue, just lift it up. Do, 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 do. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the excess glue, right? Here's what I'm doing. I mean, you can kind of see, but basically what I do is I'll pick, uh, I'll pick as much glue as I can with the tweezers, right? But you wanna pluck forward because the glue I'm plucking, although it's excess is on my forehead, it's still connected to the glue that is helping to secure my lace. So I don't wanna disturb that. I just wanna get rid of the glue that's like, you know, on my forehead. So I'm picking forward because if I were to pull this back, it would then start to pull the layer of glue back, which would mess up the install. And I don't know if you could tell the motion I'm picking at, 
Honestly, the tweezers that came with this package, they're not the sharpest, but that's actually good in this case because usually when I do this with my other tweezers, it hurts. <laughs> or it just, it's not the safest because I should be pick, picking my skin. Not really, but like, it, they're sharper. But yeah, like the motion I'm picking is like doop, 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 doop. Like I'm trying to go quick so that the glue that's like exposed could break off from the glue that's holding the lace as quick as possible so that it doesn't alter this. I really hope I explained that correctly. I mean, I did. I just hope that it's like understood the way I'm trying to explain it. And then with the glue that's like stubborn or like leftover glue, I'll then get a Q-tip and wipe it with alcohol. But I feel like if I were to wipe all this glue with alcohol, it would just be messy and annoying. So I plug as much as I can first. I'm gonna lean into the mirror to do this cause I can't see. I'm going to, I don't think I want baby hairs. I mean, maybe, but not right now. I'm gonna put this in a ponytail or just like a clip. Oh, I love this hair. And I picked off all the excess glue, as you can see earlier where it looks shiny right here. That's where all like the extra glue was. It's all gone. Okay, so. I'm gonna take this lace tinting spray and I'm gonna like do like a quick spritz. Oh my God. And not ruin my makeup. Maybe not. I have another spray. I, I'd be trying different brands y'all, hold on. I'm gonna take this one by Erica J. Much better. Before it starts to get wet, oh my God, it's freaking leaking. I'm gonna tie the lace with an elastic band. Boom, boom, boom. Not me messing up my makeup anyways. I mean, not really. Believe it or not, that actually sprayed better than the other one. The other one, yeah, okay, I'm good. We're just gonna tie that, making sure it's a little bit in front of the lace so it's like really getting laid. And we're gonna let that sit. Like I could style the hair, but I really like this like sleek straight look I have going on. So I'm just gonna quickly fix this back part and make it lay flatter, because I feel like it can. Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on the closet. Elevator up to the room, shower up and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone, what numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a All right, it's about time to take off Miss Elastic. Ooh, 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 maybe it wasn't time. <gasps> oh my God. I think it's because I got the glue wet when I sprayed it. It's okay. Okay, let me comb this out. It looks crazy. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Baby, I love you one day. Baby, will someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway on this one way. Early, baby, won't you meet me by the beach? Early, baby, later, you can show me the you know what it is, you know that I visit. You're in the city, you're gonna meet this here, too. 30 degrees, way too close, so homie, die. Will I see you at the show tonight? Will I see you at the show tonight? Hey, jury in the safe on arrival, pistol on Jake for survival. A lot of people gunning for the title, a lot of people trying to take us viral. I'm just trying to have a nice night, though. Wait a brother, check for the mail. Babe, I think it was a typo. Nah, girl, I got it. That's like, though. I can show you bigger things than that. It's gonna be a minute till I'm back. Let me get your images the last. Amex had a limit in the past. I had plenty of women in the past. All right, so I finished my baby hairs on this side, and then I like put an elastic band on one more time just to help lay those down. And I think, let me brush them out a little bit. I think we're almost done. 
Oh, I have such a love-hate with baby hairs. I just want them to be super duper duper light. It's kind of hard getting them to that point without like plucking all the hair off. This little side edge can stay, but I don't like how that this looks. I don't know what's happening to me. I just literally hate how it looks. <laughs> Like, yeah, my forehead looks bigger without them, but I don't know. I kind of like this more. I think what I don't like about this side is that this is a two pushback. So let me do my tweaking, okay? I want you guys to hear what Liz just said. No, this lace. I'm so tired. Oh my God. <laughs> Look, I napped all day, okay guys? Let me get you better lighting. Arnell's lace looks phenomenal. You can't even see it. It's so laid, it's smooth. Look at how it bounces. Oh, look at how you just did that. Do it again, yes. Hey guys, <laughs> so believe it or not, it's been, ooh. It's been over a week since I shot the footage you just watched. Hopefully you made it to the end. And I, I've had this wig on for over a week now, which is like the longest I've ever kept on a wig. I'd be taking these off. I hate sleeping with wigs on, but this one wasn't uncomfortable. It's never given me a headache. Um, it's honestly really not annoying to sleep with it on. So that's why I kept it on and I love it. As you can see, I changed my mind and I did a side part versatility if you will and i'm happy i kept the wig on for a week because i'm able to talk more about the hair quality the lace quality honestly the way i was able to maintain my lace is by where are you at was by wrapping it with an elastic band every single night and in the morning i just clean it up a little bit typically like even when you wrap it i just my bonnet ends up sliding off it just it helps, but some of the mornings I woke up and it was like a little lint and I just take a little towel and some alcohol and just wipe that off. And then of course the glue sometimes will like pick up on like the lint and it'll make it look a little dark. You just get some alcohol and you just wipe it off and you're good to go. But all in all, I really love this wig. I really, really, really love this wig. The lace quality is amazing. I like the hair quality as well. I barely experienced any tangling or shedding. I experienced no shedding at all actually, but with tangling, the only time it would tangle a little bit is if I took too long to brush it, cause I'd be forgetting you gotta brush through hair to make sure, you know, it stays straight. Um, That's normal, but I have really enjoyed wearing this wig. And so, yeah, I'm gonna start doing this thing where like I actually keep the wigs on my head for longer than two or three days. I wanna start posting like wig videos like weekly again because i used to post them way more often and just do like a wig of the week you know whatever wig i'm wearing for the week or whatever hairstyle i'm wearing for the week because i want to try like clip-ins and other hairstyles but all in all i enjoyed my experience with hair vv i would 100 percent spend my own money on their wigs like in fact i want to see like but like day four i'm like let me go to their site see what else they have and i'm eyeing this one like brown wig they have i want her I do, I might get her. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. I love your feedback, I appreciate it as always. Stick around to watch more of my videos. Mm -hmm.